Today, a bit of meltdown mitigation. Uh, let me explain. We're looking at the VCSA appliance that I'm about to update using VAMI. That's easy. But a little backstory here would be on February 15th, just uh, four days ago, we had this announcement by VMware saying, we've got Meltdown patched. Don't necessarily wait until Spectre patches are out. Go ahead and proceed with this. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a very simple, straightforward procedure. And the article, by the way, looks like this at the top, right on my homepage, with all sorts of information from all the vendors. So this mitigation, what's it look like? Well, we log in with VAMI, and you'll notice the URL. Uh, if you just type in whatever your IP address or name is of your VCSA appliance, 6.5 or later, it redirects you as long as you put in the colon 54 over 80 at the end. It redirects you with a bunch of stuff at the end of the URL. You don't have to worry about any of that. Okay, once you're logged in, we do want to do a snapshot first or some sort of backup. Okay, a snapshot is an easy way to roll back if something goes horribly wrong during this upgrade process. Now let me proceed with the actual upgrade. Let me go ahead and put this on 100% zoom in a 1920 by 1080 monitor so it looks exactly like most folks would see when doing this. Click on check updates, check repository. And I've got screenshots of all this in my article that accompanies this video. It's hitting the web now, so this is assuming your VCSA appliance has internet access. Click on install updates, install all updates. Accept the license agreement. Optionally join the CEIP. Click install. And wait for it to finish. Now this will take several minutes. Depends upon your data store speed and your internet speed, of course. Stand by. I'll go ahead and speed up this segment of video. Okay, it finished. It blanked out for a little bit there and show details went away. If I go back into show details, I can get a, a little transcript of the whole thing. All right. So we click OK, and very important here to not just uh, walk away or think you're done, you got to reboot. So I'm going to click back on Summary, click on Reboot, and say Yes. And that's going to take quite a while. Even once you get IP connectivity, uh, the web server and other services inside the VCSA appliance won't be ready yet. So come back in 5 or 10 minutes, take a break, then log in, make sure VCSA is working fine, or seems to be working fine. All right, it's about six or seven minutes later. I'll give it a shot. Looks like it is happy. Go to update, check updates, check repository, and what we should see is nothing's available because it should have been, there you go, updated already. It is. All right. Can we get into mm -hmm. VCSA? Well, let's take a look. Okay, wouldn't exactly be a shock if I have to log back in here. Let's see if actually uh, this is up. There you go. So the connection to VCSA was broken from the vSphere web client, of course. Just log right back in. And we want to make sure we're convinced the VCSA appliance is working fine and make sure all vSphere functions work fine. Your cluster's there and well, whatever else you got going on. So once you're at that point where you feel like you're good to go, you do not want to forget what I mentioned earlier, and that is snapshots. Get rid of it. So I'm going to delete all the snapshots. I'm all upgraded here. Now it's going to take a little while for that snapshot to be gone. And it's done. And that's a wrap. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. And thanks for visiting Tinkertry.com.